a common newspaper headline or newspaper story is related to the fact that male fertility is apparently declining. That is related to observations that have been made in laboratories and in populations around the world, observations on sperm that are ejaculated and comparing the data that we get now with the data that we got 20 years ago or 30 years ago or 50 years ago. There was a famous paper published in 1992 that suggested that sperm quality across the world was declining at about the rate of 2% per year. Now that's worrying if it's true because it might suggest that our sons or our grandsons may be less fertile than we currently are and that we are less fertile than our fathers and grandfathers. However, that data has been criticised because it's actually very difficult to be confident about the measurements that were made 50 years ago and whether or not they were as rigorous as the measurements that we currently make. So I'm of the opinion that the jury is still out about whether or not sperm counts are declining because I'm not confident that the measurements I was making 25 years ago were the same as the measurements that I'm making now. We've changed our view, we've changed the tools that we use, we've changed some of the technology that's, that we've used. So whilst the jury is out, I would urge men not to be too worried about this, but just be aware that there may be things in the environment, there may be things in their lives that are detrimental to their own sperm production, and I think perhaps the message is that if you're in a position to try for a baby earlier in your life rather than later, and also whilst you're trying for a baby, try and be as healthy as you possibly can, then that's about as good as most men can be and can do in this current period of uncertainty. There certainly is no evidence that men who want to have lots of children, can't have lots of children, but there's a lot of evidence that men are choosing, and couples are choosing to have fewer children. The single biggest thing that inhibits men having more children is the age at which they decide to become a father. And if you're in a relationship where the partner, the female partner is getting older, and you are getting older, then maybe there will only be time in your partner's fertile life to have one or two children and not the seven children that were in your own family. So if you want a lot of children, the advice really is to start sooner than you think you probably do. And by that I mean starting in your late 20s and early 30s rather than waiting to your late 30s, early 40s.